Hi friends, Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library. And Brill here and I are here to talk to you about some really great books we just recently read. And both of them are super different, but they do have one thing in common, which is they're both very, very unique stories. So the first one is called The Stolen Kingdom by Jillian Boehm. The Stolen Kingdom. And I was drawn to this book at first because it is a standalone fantasy, which I love, because it's nice to not have to wait years for more books coming out, right? You get one, it's done, and perfect. Um, and also because, look at this cover. It's really unique and pretty. It's got this beautiful vase here with all these like flowers and, and fruits, grapes and stuff growing out of them. And that's really cool because it really signifies what the story is about, I think. It's a good symbol. So the story is about this kingdom for who for the last hundred years has been ruled by this evil tyrant. Well, and his family. So basically the original ruling family had magic, which the new king has stolen and has turned into this evil blood magic and wiped out everybody from the original family. So the only people that have magic in this land are supposed to be the king and his and his two sons. Um, the older son who is in line for the throne is kind of a jerk. He's not such a great guy. But the younger son, Alec, is trying to understand the, ma the magic and trying to understand what went wrong and how can he make it better. And he just wants to be good to his people. Well, on the other hand, then, there's this young girl named Marilith. And Marilith is the daughter of a vint vintner who he runs this, this um, you know, this wine distillery. And basically she has power. She has been told to keep a secret. Her mom, who is now dead, told her this is a secret. You can't tell anybody about it. Um, and her power is really cool because it has to do with, with plants and growing things. She can grow, help grow the grapes, or she can wither the vine. She, her power has also to do with this growing nature magic. It's really interesting. So when she finds out that she actually um, has this heritage from this dispossessed um throne um all these different people are vying for her to try to take back the throne and assassinate people and it has to do with her just coming to terms with what is her place in the world she you know she wants to be growing up with her father and her brother in her vineyard she doesn't want to um to take over the throne she's never even thought about anything like that before but now she's got all this pressure and on top of all that She's growing close with Alec. She has met Alec in disguise. They have become close. So now, you know, she feels like, how can she hurt this person who is actually a really good guy? So there's a lot of stuff going on here in this book. It's really not that long of a book, but it's a really full, rich story. And like I said, I love the unique magical aspect of it. Um, the fact that her nature is like tied to the earth and growing or decaying plants and, and fruits and things like that, I thought was super unique. Um, not anything that you have read about so before. So I thought that was really cool. And again, it was really nice that it was a standalone um, story. So it was solved. Everything was finished at the end of this book, which was great. It's such a great feeling. Um, so if you're looking for just a fun, unique story, um, something a little bit different than, than some of the other things that are out, this is a really good one. The Stolen Kingdom. Now, another really good, unique book is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. So the name Elizabeth Acevedo may sound familiar because she is the author of another really amazing book called The Poet X. And this book is similar to that in that it's told in verse. So this story is actually told in poem format, which is really cool. You don't have to be a fan of poetry to love this book. I do love poetry and I also love this book, but anyone can read this and just absolutely totally enjoy it. So the story of this book is about these two girls, Camino and Urello, and they are, they have no idea that they are sisters. They're half sisters. So Yahira lives in New York with her mom. Camino lives in the Dominican Republic with her, her Tia. And neither of them know the other exists. The father mainly lives in New York but he goes a couple times a year to the Dominican Republic and has this other daughter there so when he dies in a plane crash which the planes here kind of give that away a little bit a little bit of foreboding there um the two daughters suddenly are 
now know of each other. And they have to come to terms with the fact that their father wasn't the person that they thought he was. He was this big, different, complicated person. Um, and that he had relationships with other people and that he has another daughter. Each of them have to come to terms with that fact that they're not, in fact, his only daughter, his only child. Um, so it's them, both of them coming to terms with that relationship with their father, the relationship with each other, and also with what is going on in the, in their own personal worlds. Um, in the Dominican Republic where Camino lives, some things are not very safe for her. So it's her trying to deal with that. Um, and then there's things going on with Yahira as well. So this book is just, it's absolutely fantastic. I know it looks really big. Um, but it's really not. It's just, it seems that way because it's, like I said, it's told in verse. Um, but it's absolutely fantastic. This book is so great. Heart-wrenching, beautiful, emotional story about these two girls. And I loved them both. And I felt for them so strongly. So highly, highly recommended. Clap when you land. Well, that's what we've got for you guys today. I hope that these books sound really cool and interesting. Um, if so, please feel free to put them on hold through the Farmington Community Library. They are available. You can get them at either branch through our curbside service or also through, um, you can come into the, to either building as well. We are open for the public too. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful rest of the day.